Welcome to Gamble Pavilion, a big game in store between two top four teams. Oklahoma's only loss this year came to number two North Carolina. Connecticut is facing its first ranked opponent of the season. Ball, yeah, Montgomery. Courtney is rebounding her own this shot inside. And Renee Montgomery makes him pay on the other side as she hits the three. One player who is terrific, Renee Montgomery, already with five assists, and certainly one of the best point guards in the country. Well, and in talking to Gino, I asked him about the comparison of the team, and that point guard position, he said that Renee Montgomery may have the knowledge and the experience and the maturity to be in the same breath or conversation as a Sue Burke. And that is a heady company indeed. Renee, the first three-time captain under Gino Oriema. UConn. Well, another freshman for UConn is in, Tiffany Hayes. Wow, what a dish, what a finish. Tina Charles with the finish, but it's Renee Montgomery yet again. Watch this move, off the dribble, attracts three defenders, and right on time finds Tina Charles. Gay draft. She can shoot the three. She's shown that she can be in shape. She's that versatile player that can play the three and the four. Oh, boy, Montgomery, her stock is rising. Renee's got seven. It's a get to take it away by Tina Charles. Lauren Dixon. Oh, over to Renee Montgomery with the fist pump. And they are looking very much like the number one team in the country for a three, but they won't let her. Thompson misses. Renee Montgomery gets it up to Kalena Green. It's all over. I think that's yeah. what makes Renee Montgomery a great point guard. She receives the ball, head up, eyes looking forward, trying to get the quick, easy basket first. That double-double streak, that is in serious jeopardy. It's in life support right now as we go to Kevin Agandi in the studio. What I was most impressed about on the offensive end was Renee Montgomery, the point guard. And one of the things that Gene R.M. has done to change his offense this year is put the ball in her hands more. Much like Chris Paul and the New Orleans Hornets and Steve Nash and the Phoenix Suns, it's about putting the ball in the hands of your best decision maker with a skill set. There you see a rescreen with Maya Moore. Here she's going to hesitate. She's going to fake and not use the screen. That gives her an alley to drive down the lane and attack. When you have a player as talented and smart as Renee Montgomery with the ball skills that she has, why not put it in her hands as much as possible? And that's what this offense does in allowing her to go off those ball screens. And at number one, it's Connecticut. And when you have the national, or in my opinion, who should be the national player of the year, even though it's early, she's the best player in the country, and that's Maya Moore. She's moved to that floor four spot this year. She's a matchup nightmare. She's almost averaging a double-double. And Tina Charles can compete with any five player in the country if she comes focused and she comes motivated. And let's not forget Kalena Green in there at the three spot, another veteran with experience, UConn, the best front court in the country. Make it 10 again. Well, like Daniel Robinson has to be careful. It's a good decision by Renee Montgomery to go by Danielle Robinson. She can't afford to foul her. She's got three. On the first half, Oklahoma was trying to just power everything to Courtney Paris. When you have players like Renee Montgomery and Maya Moore, that is so disheartening, I would think, if you're the other guy. Renee with 15 now. Is put home. Courtney Paris, she's only two points away from her 98 double-double. Somebody got to guard Renee Montgomery. Outside shot missed by Whitney Hand. Rainy, cold, nasty here. And people still coming out to see their Huskies. Montgomery, she's worth a ticket or two. 21 points. She got clobbered after the fact as well. This is going after that record this year. Renee Montgomery in front of the pack. 23 for the captain. Renee Montgomery 
her first career double-double, so she is 101 behind Courtney Paris right now in double-doubles, but not to belittle what she has done at all tonight. It's been a spectacular evening for her. Well, she just has brought so much to the court. She's shown her different, her repertoire of scoring. She's got the jumper. She can shoot it from the three. Check this one out. Way deep, just a step from out of bounds. And then she's leading the break in transition. She's such a great leader for this UConn basketball team. Attitude in the paint, and I think that's something that Tina Charles has had to work on, and I think she's getting there. Very few mistakes, according to Gina Oriyama, which is high praise indeed. Renee Montgomery. Renee Montgomery has been spectacular. Her first career double-double and now ties her career high with 27 points. She has 10. Montgomery, new career high. 30 for Renee Montgomery to go along with her 13 assists. The 13 assists. And when Mel Thomas got hurt last year and Kalena Green and moved Renee Montgomery to the two, her scoring went up. Now she's moved back to the one, but her scoring has not dropped off. And how potent and scary is that to have someone who can distribute the ball and play point and yet fill you up with 30 points? Well, and I think that's what the WNBA scouts like about her. When you have a versatile point guard who can move to the two, she has that leadership quality about her. Great maturity. You look at already she's demonstrated she can find the open players and has also demonstrated she can score in so many different ways. 13 assists tonight to go along with the 30 points. The 13 assists ties an all-time singles game high for Connecticut. for the Huskies. Caroline Doty, the freshman who did not play her senior year because of a knee injury in high school. Doty from the outside nails the three. I like that kid right there. A freshman with confidence in this atmosphere to pull the trigger. Freshman from Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Seven points for Robinson and one thing that Cherry Cole said that she did not see anxiety in her team today about playing Connecticut, but that'll give you anxiety. Goodness, Doty ha has two threes tonight. In the zone, Doty from the outside, money. Zone buster. As we already mentioned, that is exactly what they were missing last year, especially when Mel Thomas got hurt. Doty has nine points on three threes. Courtney Paris can't find a way to score, still over from the floor. Oh boy. You got to guard Caroline Doty. She has four threes tonight. Four for four from three. Except those 10 and 12 footers, she's fine with that. Also runs the offense as the point guard. Doty. Five for five from three tonight for Caroline Doty, who only missed today came from two-point range. Obviously, that's too close for her. Well, the scouting report on Caroline Doty is she's a three-point shooter. So on an on-ball screen, you either need to trap her or defensively, you've got to get over the top. When you're guarding Caroline Doty, you have to either get over the top or trap her. But it cannot be an option going behind. She's going to make you pay all night long. She only needs about an eyelash of room to do that. That was way too much room, and she has not missed from three-point range. And then Oklahoma has gone to a zone. And there's your zone buster. Caroline Doty, say hello to the freshman from Doylestown, Pennsylvania. She has 18 points on the night, six for six from three. And a rebound. And this was a kid who did not play last year, her senior year of high school, because she tore her left ACL playing soccer. But she looks like she is uh, ready and raring to go. Well, you look, there's five Oklahoma players. There's only four UConn players in the play. The one thing that you cannot do is lose sight of who? Caroline Doty. She's a three-point shooter. you got to know where she is. Doty has hit all six of her threes tonight. A freshman with 18 points has missed both of her twos. 
the 18 points a new season and therefore career high for the freshman.